Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Aloha, everyone. Welcome to uh, Cut the Tape Island Edition. I'm Rick Alvarez, and uh, today's Cut the Tape is being brought to you from the island of Hawaii, the big island of Hawaii. So um, just to give you a little idea of what my view is right now. That's, uh, that's what I'm working with, so even in Hawaii, I'm able to find stuff to open. So while we were here, we went on a Walmart run, a Target run. There's a Ross here too, but I haven't made it out there yet. So let me show you the goodies that I got so far. Stuff that obviously I can't find on the mainland of the East Coast. I got, first of all, the Monster Trucks Battle Cat. Now I don't collect the Motu Master Universe vehicles, but this one makes sense to me. So this is the only one I wanted. And this is the only one they had at Walmart and I got it. Nobody won a battle cap with me. Let me tell you, if you're looking for NECA figures, the turtles, they're all here in Hawaii. There's just stacks of them. All right, speaking of Motu, I got Merman, which is awesome. And then I got uh, Zodak, which is awesome. Um, I never even saw these guys, not once, not once. Where I go, where I live. Uh, so I did get a Transformer, uh, Maximal Dracodon, 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 I don't know, he's a repaint. But today's episode of Cut the Tape, we're going to do something we've never done before on the show. It's Marvel. It's MODOK. Uh, <laughs> MODOK is on clearance here in Hawaii. Um, so I took the opportunity to buy it. It's like 55 bucks everywhere else. Here, it's 42 49 so I'm not passing that up. Only appropriate that today saw the season one finale of Loki. I actually got to see it Tuesday night at nine o'clock because we're on island time. Island time runs a little differently. All time, wow. All time runs a little differently here. Uh, there's... Oh, what time is it now? It's like 10 o'clock here. So back home, it's like four o'clock. So it's a little weird. It's, it's tough to kind of do work. So this is, this is the Patton Oswald figure. Um, it actually, they did a really good job of getting his likeness down for this. Um, Surprisingly, they even copied the proportions of his limbs. I think they got him all right. That's that's Patton Oswalt right there. Um, so, uh, I'm going to try and peel the sticker off. Because I would like to take the box with me, but if it doesn't fit in the luggage, it's not going. So, all right, let's see. Luckily, the sticker does pull off fairly easily. Beautiful. Beautiful. I may have to find a way to make this make this work. All right, Maddie's here. What's up, Maddie? Um, just wait till I come over, okay? Okay, Maddie. You know, you tell them. All right, let me do this, and and you know, don't talk to me while I'm doing this. Uh, you know, kids. So anyway, I don't have my trusty yellow cutter today. Um, something about getting knives on a plane um, makes a lot of sense. Don't bring a knife on a plane. Uh, this was at the house I rented. So today I'm using a Cuisin Art. Cuisin Art? Quiz Cuisine Art? Cuisin Art knife? Doesn't matter. And 
Let's cut the tape. Ooh, even in Hawaii. So, we've opened it. Hopefully we won't need this again. Uh, probably not a good idea to bring a knife to the pool, but nobody's really bothering me. All right, so we've got some paperwork and it's a Build-A-Figure. It is quite the Build-A-Figure. I'll try and hold it up so you can see it better. How does this even go? Like that, like this, like this. It goes like this. So, here it is, MODOK. Nope, not gonna work. MODOK, all right. So we may need to bu the box, right, to see how this works. So we've got, uh, it's just a shell. I mean, I would, this has some heft to it, you know, but if you unscrew this, I guarantee you it's gonna be empty. It does have some articulation here. Now, I don't co really collect the Marvel figures, but uh, there's certain Marvel figures which look really cool when you put them next to your Motu characters. So I'm a big fan of the Matty Collector Super 7 Motu figures, Master Universe. So this is just one figure that I always thought, this is gonna go perfect with that. So we've got the, hmm, face to the feed me face. All right, put that in there. Snap. And I think, I think that was it. I think maybe this goes in first, yeah. So this looks like it's gonna be pretty easy to take apart and put back into the box which is great because it gives me a reason to save the box. Come on. Man, this really is accurate to Patton Oswalt. It's difficult. Uh, let's see, no. All right. Let's see. There we go. So now we're gonna put on his little stubby Patton Oswald legs. All right, let's see here. Some little, little chubby baby legs. Today is my daughter's seventh birthday. We're celebrating here in Hawaii. So there you go. Little, little Patton Oswald figure. He's got the little, little thing here. Is this a two part? Oh, it's a two part. It's a two part. So you take the flower, you put it there. And there you go. The little Patton Oswald figure. Feed me. Feed me, Marvel. Feed me rolls so that I can live. He comes with extra pair of hands. You take this mask off. Actually, that's, somehow that's gonna be canon. By the way, Loki today. Man, that was crazy. Everything's canon. At this point, I'm expecting Mike Keaton to show up as Batman in Doctor Strange 2. Oof. All right, so there you go. We got Loki, Modok, not Loki. All right, why don't we do open a Transformers figure since we've got time. Now I usually don't open something until I have a second one sealed in case it's tough to get, because I'd rather have one sealed that I can take pictures of in the packaging and then if needed, open it. But um, I only have one of these so far. I have seen them back home. I just didn't want to stop and, and buy him at the time. So I don't think he's gonna be that tough to find. Maximal Dracodon, interesting name, interesting name. He's a fossilizer. 
Now, usually when I have a second card figure, I just tear it open. I'm gonna show you what you do when you only have one figure. Now, there's a couple of techniques. All right. If you wanted to keep this so that you can kind of put it back in, slide that knife in. Of course, you really need not a kitchen knife. This is the wrong type of knife to do this with. This is definitely, now I usually say don't cut towards yourselves, cut towards your enemies. But, all right, so there we go. So we have this, we can open it, slide this out, we can take the figure out, and then, should you want, you can slide the figure back in, display as you want, all right? That's just an example. I'm not gonna keep this packaging, I'm gonna get another one. Another reason to, to, that I wait before I open a figure is to check to see if there's any variants. But this is a special, special occasion, you know. I'm gonna take some, some stuff home in the package and this guy doesn't need to go home in the package. All right. So here he is. Dracodon. Nice colors. He's a fossilizer. Let's see here. Very, um, very soft plastic. That rubbery type of plastic. There he is. Meow, meow. All right, so that was cut the tape. I'm gonna show you that view one more time. That that is the specific ocean. That's a that's a specific ocean, right there. Um, that way is Japan, and then that way is back home in Massachusetts. All right, so uh, remember if you're gonna travel, get vaccinated, wash your hands, wear a mask, be kind to each other, be kind to yourself, uh, spay or neuter your pets, and please, please be nice to Patton Oswald. All right, God bless you, Patton Oswald. All right, thank you so much. We'll see you, uh, see you next week on Cut the Tape.